Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's episode, we're going to be working on the intercooler. I know last episode we got done working on the turbo manifold. Uh, so now we got to move on to the intercooler. For the intercooler, I have an intercooler core and I'll have to be welding end tanks and fabricating all the charge pipe. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. All right, so I got the intercooler core kind of where I want it to go. Let me go ahead and take some measurements, see how much room I have on each side. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting up the aluminum and start getting to welding. I already got one of the pieces actually tacked up. So right now all I got to do is go ahead and clean everything up. I already ran a practice beat on this piece right here. Uh, that's what it, how I looked up straight off the bat. So I think we got the settings, the machine good to go. Uh, right now I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up all my aluminum. Clean it good, tack up the other one, and then go ahead and start welding this out. The end tanks is fully welded on already. Uh, this is actually going to be on that side, so I just have flip flop. Uh, but uh, this one's fully welded on, uh, I think it should be good. Uh, now I have to tack up the other one and then weld the other one out and then I can worry about the inlet and the outlet. I just got the other end tank fully welded up, so now I'm gonna break it off, uh, drill the hole for the outlet, and then I'm gonna go ahead and weld it onto the air Nani? All right, so I just got done welding the intercooler. I got both of the ends welded up. Um, but I guess you saw right now, I dropped the intercooler. Uh, it came pretty, uh, it scored the concrete in the floor and this bent and it's kind of got sucked in. So I definitely have to buy uh, a new uh, one of these on the outside. Luckily, uh, I had to put this on here. So I think only the outer part that goes onto the tube got messed up. I think the inner part, the one that's welded on, is still good. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take this off right now. And I have a uh, sliding hammer, and I'm gonna try to hammer it out to where it's even again. So this is the part that got bent right here. Actually, it might be still usable, but um, I'll probably just order a new one. I would have just have to bend it back out uh, since this is the inner part this is the one that seals. The inner part is not bent at all, so I could probably reuse it, but probably not going to. I'll probably just order a new one. Yeah, to be honest, the hay was a little too hard. I'm not gonna be able to bend it, but we're just gonna run with it like that. Even though it's bent, it still looks like it's gonna hold up just fine. So we're gonna use it like that. I got the intercooler mocked up where it needs to go. I already made sure to check and clear everything you need to. So now what I need to do is I gotta measure up some how far it's away from the frame and try to make some brackets so we'll hold the intercooler up while I make all the plumbing. All right, so what I'm doing right now is I'm building some brackets to hold the intercooler. As you can see right here, I got this piece of aluminum cut up. Uh, made a 90 and that's going to be holding up the intercooler it's only got two bolts but two should be fine plus there's going to be another bracket going to be pouring over it i'm going to kind of clamp this in place so right now i'm going to go ahead i already made some marks on the back of it where i need to uh, line it up to and weld it out so i'm going to go ahead and tack it up make sure it still uh, fits just fine and then i'll go back and make the bracket for the other side all right so i didn't feel like risking you not fitting so i decided to bring a welder outside and tack it up uh, while everything was still on here so right now I tacked up one side, I'm gonna go ahead and tack up the other side, and then I'll take it off of here, put it on the table, and weld it out. Brackets is done. Uh, intercooler is getting held up by itself. I'll probably add one more bracket right up on the middle once I make the crash bar, since I'm probably not gonna need the stock crash bar. So I'll wait up on that until I do that. For now the intercooler can hold itself up pretty good. And then once I make the charge pipe uh, plumbing, the charge pipe will also kind of help it up stay up so 
So the intercooler is finally all complete. Uh, like I showed you guys, I made the brackets, so it's on here bolted up pretty good. It's not moving really anywhere. Uh, once I make the crash bar, I told you, so I make one more bracket, so it really won't move anywhere. But everything came out pretty nice. Uh, it actually was went by a lot faster than I thought it would, so I didn't get as much footage as I wanted to. But everything fits actually really good. Uh, this is the part that got bent, but it's actually kind of convenient in a way almost because it got bent backwards and I kind of needed to go that way regardless. So even though it did get damaged, uh, it's fine like this. I'm just going to leave it alone. Uh, over here on this side, originally, I planned on routing the piping like that because uh, I wasn't going to have enough clearance. But after doing some double checking, uh, I think it will kind of work out if I run it this way and do a 180 into this end tank. So that's pretty sweet. The only thing is I do need to order another, uh, I'm going to order a 180 uh, bent already, so I don't have to make a bunch of pipe heads. So I'll have to wait on that. My waste kits get here in two days. So in a few days, I'll have a video of, of me finishing up the manifold so I can finally have a manifold completely done, bolted up there for good, and I can finally move on to other stuff. And um, so that's from that, oh, I got the radiator order. I'm gonna be running a Honda half size radiator. So in case anything ever happens to radiator, we pretty easy to change out. So I got that on the way too. Should be here sometime next week. Uh, I'll probably make a video on that since it's a pretty basic install or I just need to make some brackets. But after that, I think really the biggest thing is going to go back onto doing some wiring. And then uh, I'm not sure, sure if I want to make, make my own fuel cell or if I'm going to buy an off the shelf fuel cell. I'm uh, kind of debating on that, how I want to run my fuel system. But we're getting pretty close, pretty excited to turning the car on and uh, getting this thing on the street. And hopefully it's a race wars. So once again, guys, if you guys made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate your support. Uh, go ahead and like the video if you haven't already. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already um if you are subscribed make sure you hit the doorbell notification so you don't miss out when i upload new videos and once again guys thanks for watching peace out